are on the Fast Track with Fast Track and Jed Lending. I'm Elijah Randall, and we're going to be talking about a house right now that we're keeping some things, and there are things that you can keep in certain homes. You have to consider when you're keeping something what you're going to do uh, with what's being affected around it. So come on in, take a look. This particular house, we're going to be demoing some walls. That's one key area that's going to help with the ARV and the feeling of the home when the homeowner is living here. There are some things that were done really well not too long ago. Taking a look at the kitchen, we've, we've covered it up now because we're keeping it. Whenever you're in a kitchen and you're looking at what the comps are saying, and it has been rehabbed in the last five years maybe, it is good to know, maybe it's not the most recent rehab, but how much value is there in that current kitchen? Because we're no longer talking about the difference between having a low-end kitchen versus how much you would pay for that versus a high-end kitchen. Because now we're talking about how much it is to completely demo something that has current value and then redoing it completely. So see what value you may have and then see what's affected with it along the way. Currently these wood floors, the client is wanting to repurpose and keep, so we're gonna have to cut them back, add sheetrock and baseboard and then put in the new runs. Over here in this area, we're able to rethread in and restain. Always consider when there's parts of flooring missing, I don't care how much, Always consider a cost to re-sand and stain that particular room, not just that one particular area. It's a good thing to keep in your, in your head. And also, if you're wanting to do more minimal sanding and staining to match, then don't think about changing the full color. Think more about matching the existing color. So we see this in the kitchen, and then you can come on with me. There's other couple areas that we're able to keep. The hall bath was intact very similarly with a, not the most recent remodel, but we are able to, to keep the current design and the master bathroom. So even though we're doing a few key upgrades and opening up of walls, for instance, in this room, we'll talk about maybe in a different video about engineering, but this, this room had a wall that you can tell was put in after the original uh, framing of the home. So this wall is no longer needing to be here. And then based on the closets that we're able to keep, as you come into the master bathroom, the space here is very adequate. So keeping that space really sectioned off makes the master bedroom smaller, and it's not closet space that you actually need. So coming into the master bathroom, again, we've covered most of it up, but you can see the decor and how it's heading. It's neutral, it's, it's nice, and the shower is actually not not too low in, in terms of what the value is currently of it. And so we can just put the sheetrock back, we can repaint, put it back together. This was a pipe break house, and so we're able to take advantage of what was able to be kept. And next time you're in a project like this, just consider the effects around what you're keeping, make sure it's matching your comps, and consider the current value and not just the replacement value one versus the other.